That every one for kid, Dark Web, by user John was never, book one of three. August, Wednesday. Something really interesting happened today. At school, Albert Sandy was saying some random things as usual, but today, something caught my attention. He was talking about something called the Dark Web, and I can make really easy cash on it by doing crazy things. But there are consequences like people kidnapping or even killing you. Knowing myself, I would obviously go for the gold, but that last part really set me off. Is it really worth getting money? I'll just see about this myself. The first thing when I got home was to get on the computer. After some research, I found it. Another thing I found out is that it's not a piece of cake getting that money. The first thing I gotta do is sell someone to the black market. And of course, no one's gonna wanna do that, but I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Ready to go to the North Pole? Yeah. Thursday, $15,000. Maybe it is this easy. I have so much money now that I don't know what to do with. The only problem is that mom or dad might find out about Manny. Well, first of all, I don't think dad would care at all. So my main problem is mom. But I don't have to worry anymore. Since I had gotten all that money, I guess you can say I'll be paying Shrog from now on. Friday. Time to let the secret out. I just pulled out some of my green paper and everyone started sucking up to me. The same day, I went up to Albert Sandy to ask about more advice. With the bit of information he gave me, I'm going to make more than a lousy $15,000. The first thing I did after school was go to Rowley's house. My plan is this. When he's not looking... I'll put up a secret camera, stream it, and see if it gets any donations. Let's just say my plan was a success. Saturday. The next day, I checked the stream and has over 17,000 people watching it. At the end of the day, I had over $50,000. Then I got a text from someone. Hey, can I kill this kid? Do what you want. He's not mine. Cool. Also, I'll buy another one from you for 1.5 mil. First of all, if you don't know who James is, he's the guy who sold me money. Second of all, of course I accepted the offer. Who would turn down $1.5 million? Also, who am I going to sell now? I guess I had the feeling of selling Fregly. I don't really care about him, but if it's making me cash, then I don't care. So I sent James his address. Sunday. I went under the street and hid behind the bushes in Fregly's front yard so I can get a look at this James character. And surely enough, he came. Also, I couldn't make out his details very well because he had this mask on. After he put Fregly in his van, he went down to my house and put something in my mailbox. I went down there and it was my 1.5 mil. Monday. School was cancelled today because of thunderstorm warnings or whatever. So what else was I going to do all day but do some more dark web stuff? I remember the other day I went up to Holly to flex on her but she didn't care. So maybe there was a way I can make her mine. And fortunately, there is. And so I hired a random person off of a website to bring her to me against her will. Seems fair to me. A few hours earlier, I heard a knock at the door, so I answered it, and I can't believe what I saw. That's when I realized that what I'm doing is messed up. I'm so freaked out that all I did was leave her out there. I don't want to do this anymore. Tuesday. Oh, sh I forgot all about Holly. I ran outside, and I was too late. Apparently, they thought it was another trash bag. I guess there's nothing to do now. She's gone forever. Wednesday. I don't want to do this anymore. Today, I texted Jane that I was done selling him stuff, but he texted me something that I didn't expect. Meet me behind Papa's Tony's. Okay, I know it might not be the smartest idea, but after doing business together, I think I can trust him. Later during the night, I snuck out and went behind Papa Tony's, just like he said, and there he was. I thanked him for helping me get that money. Then I asked him why he wanted me to come here. He said he had something in the back of his van that he wanted to show me. So we got out and we walked to the back of the van. But as soon as he opened the door, he grabbed the collar of my shirt and threw me to the truck. So now here I am in the back of a creepy guy's van, driving down the road, going who knows where, who knows what awaits me.